On Saturday in Tucson, the Arizona State Gym Devils competed in the Pac-12 championships. The motto of the season on full display, prove it. Honestly, it just means like go out and like prove we're not the underdog anymore, prove that like we're like a force to be reckoned with because I think that we have proved the season that we are and like it's postseason now and like we do have to go to regionals and I think we're going to kill it if we keep the same like mentality and energy that we had at this meet. ASU came into the meet seated sixth and competed in the first session of the day among the bottom half of the league. The team started on bars where lone senior Nichelle Christofferson made her return from injury. With her 9.825 and several other solid routines, the squad led the morning session after one. Next to Beam, where Ashley Zafranski put up a 9.875 with her unique routine, and three other Gym Devils earned at least a 9.8. Third for the Gym Devils was the floor exercise, where both freshman Kyra Leonard Baker and former French Olympian Anne Kuhn earned 9.9 .9 routines. Although ASU performed well, they were still down a tenth of a point to Oregon State heading into the final rotation of their Pac-12 season. The Gym Devils ended the day on vault where Leonard Baker earned a career-high 9.9 .9 for her stuck Yurchenko full and was pretty excited about it. I was standing there and I like looked at my feet I was like, oh. I was like, did everyone see that? The Devs were kind of like, I was like, sorry, I'm not going to hurt you, sorry. It was great. ASU posted their fourth score of 49 or higher on an individual event and finished second in their session, behind only Oregon State. As the sun set in Tucson, the stars came out inside the McHale Center. The night session featured multiple Olympians and four of the best teams in the country. Number three UCLA and number four Utah battled it out while having fun along the way. Other than all of the dancing, the highlight of the meet was UCLA senior Peng Peng Lee's beam routine that earned a perfect 10 from the judges. After the night session had concluded, ASU finished in sixth place overall. By posting a 196.425, the Gym Devils earned their highest Pac-12 finish since 2012. Although all the events were complete, ASU was not done. Unlike years past, the squad was included in the award ceremony at the end of the meet. While UCLA hoisted the championship trophy, ASU earned two individual awards of their own. As expected, Leonard Baker took home Pac-12 Freshman slash Newcomer of the Year. And shortly after, head coach Jay Santos was presented with the Coach of the Year Award for the league. While this might have been the final moment of the season for Jim Devil teams of late, it is not for this squad, who will travel to Happy Valley, Pennsylvania on April 7th for regional championships. In the meet kind of this was a you know it's a very kind of hurry up and wait meet with the with the one you know everybody goes format you know at one at a time so it's I mean you gotta almost control it you want the energy up when you know flip the switch energy's gotta go up and then you know you gotta almost power down for you know a few minutes before you know you get to go again so it's uh, it's actually good practice for, you know for postseason things like that regionals um, but it's you know they like I said I think they did a fantastic job today that you know they were up when they needed to they they composed when they needed to be, you know, I'm, I'm thrilled. Reporting from Tucson, Arizona, Tyler Mannion, Cronkite Sports.